Hi, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. I'm Photo Junkie from PhotoshopBus.co.uk, and today I'm going to talk about history. Now, what is history? History is a record of what you do to an image with inside Photoshop. So, basically, every time you do something to an image inside Photoshop, it will record it as a history. Now, the amount of times it will record what you do depends on how you set it up in preferences. So, under Edit Preferences Performance you can set the number of history states. I've set mine to 50. Do take in mind that the more states it remembers, so you can set this to 100, but if it's only remembered five states, it doesn't matter. But if you set it to 100 and it's remembered 100 states, you've, in other words, you've, you've made 100 changes within the image, um, then that's all taken up memory. So something between 30 and 50 probably is a good idea. I like to keep mine on maximum because the main reason I suppose people use history for is just a quick undo and redo so we could do some things to this image so let's um, we could write text on there so maybe <laughs> written some text and we might want to add some color um, dark green Multiply and we've really gone wrong there. So, what we can do is we can just go back to new layer and start a game. So, now we might want to change the blending mode to something a bit better, add it as green and not in orange. That might have been the first mistake we made, and then multiply. Then the opacity. We can set it to color. So it's remembering all them things you do. So as you see, I can go back and forward. Now, the reason it's letting me go back and forth between all of these states from open to the last thing we've done is because we're remembering the history from the state of here when we first opened the image and the reason it's remembering from there is because you see besides each of these states there's a little checkbox that's where you can set Photoshop to remember the history from so if we start from the beginning again so let's just make sure we're at the beginning file revert right and let's desaturate this image control shift U to desaturate and then get our history brush so now we're going to use the history brush so we can choose, choose the brush we want and the hardness and the size so I'm going to leave it on soft and I'm going to paint in the middles of these flowers now what this is doing it's painting back from the original image so we're bringing back color into this Im image which is a nice way of using um, the history brush now we've painted the middles of these flowers so let's say that we go back and we leave just two of the middles painted on and we set, if I zoom in here, so I'm going to zoom in, let's bring this in the middle, set the history state to here, it's going to remember the image as it was here. So basically we can't go backwards no further. So if I paint with the history brush, it won't let me go back with it no further to the original image because we haven't set it to there. Um, if I now desaturate, the only thing it's going to let us paint colour back into is what was there at that state when we checked that box, which was only them two images, so uh, them two middles and them flowers. So as you can see, anywhere I paint, it's only going to bring it in from them um, two middles. And so we need to really go back to something like this. Well, we can go back to the original and set the um, image there and then just desaturate again so I'm just going to go desaturate and so that's the history brush there is another history brush there's the art history brush which lets you paint with um, art brushes which are these um, different um, shaped ones here and basically not something I've experimented much with I'll just use a normal brush and we're kind of getting like a really wet oil painting look. You can experiment with that for sure. 
we'll desaturate again. In fact, no, we won't. We'll go back to the original image and I'm going to use the quick selection tool to show you another way to use history. We're going to try and select just maybe these pink flowers and I'm going to save that as a channel so I could just do it this way. You can do select um, save s selection or we can just create a new channel and then fill it with white Alt delete control D let's uh, go back to our RGB and to layers and then control shift U to desaturate let's load that channel by control clicking on it um, which if you saw my tutorial on channels we'll just select whatever's white so just the flowers and then making sure that we've clicked RGB back on that layers we can do shift delete or edit fill and we can fill the contents with history this time blending mode normal if you want it at normal you can experiment opacity at hundred percent and we'll click OK and it's filled in them two flowers with the history again it's taking its history from wherever you've uh, checked this box um, so it's taking the history from the original image and it's uh, quite a nice way to bring back colour. If I was going to carry on with this tutorial I'd probably uh, bring back history for all of the flowers and leave the stems and the background, well definitely the background uh, black and white and blurred and I might bring back the stems but probably not, just the flowers and um, yeah it's quite a nice thing to use. So that's using the history brush and you can find it here. Remember them states and uh, remember the preferences and the performance and uh, history states and how that can affect your memory and your performance keep an eye on that and remember where you have this um, checkbox selected um, is where you're going to be uh, bringing that history from where the history brush or the um, history fill is going to remember um, from so that's photo junkie i'll see you in my next tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to visit us at photoshopbus.co.uk we've got loads more tutorials we've got a new uh, section for beginners just basically giving you a to z of photoshop so if you know absolutely nothing there's a place to go competitions every week every fortnight and thousands i mean literally thousands of free renders on our gallery so we'll see you there photoshopbus.co.uk thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time